Hey guys, welcome to How to Wire It. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to wire up one of these, a potentiometer or a pot. Now, these are about the easiest things that you can possibly wire up. They just take a couple of wires and that's it. No extra resistors or anything like that. Now, I'm also going to show wiring up an LED here and when we turn the potentiometer it's going to cause the LED to get brighter and dimmer through our Arduino and software. But let's get to wiring up this potentiometer just to see how easy it really is. So what you're really going to need are just three wires for this. A red, a red and a black for power and then your signal wire which will go to your Arduino. Alright, so let's see how to wire up this potentiometer here. Now, potentiometers have three legs, and the main thing to remember about these three legs is that the outer two legs are for power, and the center leg will be going to your Arduino. So it doesn't matter which of the two legs you use for power or ground, you can have power here or here, and ground on either side as well. You just want to make sure that one side is your positive, whatever that happens to be, and the other side is your negative or ground. So I'm going to pop this in on my breadboard, and I know it's a little bit difficult to see the pins, but I'm going to take my black wire here, my ground, and wire it to the same column as one of the outer legs and the red wire here and put it on the same column as the other outer leg. So now we have power flowing in and ground connected here. And now the last wire here is our signal wire and I'm going to connect that to my A0 pin on my Arduino and to the center of the three pins on the potentiometer here. So now that we have that wired up, I also wanted to go ahead and wire up this little LED so that we can actually visualize how things are happening. So I'm going to take a resistor from a pin, and this is a PWM capable pin, and I'm going to then plug the positive side of the LED into the same column as that pin, and the negative side into my ground power rail here. And that's all there is to setting up a potentiometer. Really, without this LED, it's just the potentiometer and three wires. It's really, really simple. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the code that will let us read this potentiometer and change the brightness of this LED. Okay, so here you can see the code for running our potentiometer here. Now, the first thing we do is we define our pop pin and our LED pin. So my potentiometer is wired to analog in zero, A zero, and my LED is on pin 10. So in setup, we then tell the Arduino that the potentiometer pin is going to be used as an input and that the LED is going to be used as an output. And we also start up the serial line so that we can communicate back to the computer later on in the program. In loop, we, the first thing that we do is we take a reading and we put it into potval. So potval equals analog read, and we're going to read the value that is found at location pot pin at A0. And then what we do is we just we print out that value to the serial line so that we can do some debug and actually see what it's reading. And then we're going to analog write to our LED pin and we're going to give it pot val divided by 4. Now, the reason that we're dividing by 4 here is that analog write can only accept a value between 0 and 255, and analog read returns a value between 0 and 1023. Now, although these numbers seem somewhat arbitrary, they're actually based on powers of 2, just like everything in computer science, basically. So, 1023, or actually 1024, is 2 to the 10th. So if you multiply 2 10 times, you get 1024. Now the reason it's between 0 and 1023 
is because in computer science we include zero as a value. So if you include zero, you have a total of 1,024 values, but including zero means you can count from zero to 1,023. And analog write is a, an 8-bit value, or 2 to the 8th. So we lose two bits of precision here, and two to the second is four. So we, in order to scale our analog read from between zero and 1023 to zero to 255 for analog write, we divide by four. And that will mean that a value of 40 in analog read becomes a value of 10 on analog write, and so on for all the values. So this will simply just scale the input value to work with our LED output value. And then at the end, we just wait 20, and 20 milliseconds, and this is mostly just to prevent the serial monitor from becoming overwhelmed by the amount of data and the amount of speed that is reading and printing out everything over the serial line. So if we go ahead and we open up the serial plotter, we can see that right now the potentiometer is all the way down at zero and the LED is off. As I start rotating it up, we can see that the plotter is graphing it and we continue to go up and we can also see that the LED here is getting brighter and brighter until we reach all the way to our maximum brightness. And we can then dim right back down. So you can see the I'm rotating the knob, the potentiometer, and the LED is getting brighter and dimmer, and the graph is reflecting the value that we're reading as well. All right, so that's it for how to wire up potentiometers. They're really, really simple devices, really easy to use and they're really useful for any time you need to fine-tune something or you need a knob type input potentiometers are definitely the way to go so that's all there is for this episode of how to wire it if you like this video definitely give it a thumbs up and if you like these videos in general definitely subscribe to my channel i try to put new videos out every week sometimes i miss a week here or there but I, I want to keep helping you guys build things because that's what I love to do. I love building things. So definitely subscribe and like the channel. Uh, you can also find me at itkindaworks.com and as well on Twitter at itkindaworksinc. All right, well, that's all there is for today. I'll see you guys later.